Good morning, you guys. I've had my two cups of black coffee this morning. Now, for those of you that are doing this seven-day back-on-track challenge with me, you know if you're in our Facebook group or even if you're watching my videos that I went over points yesterday. So I just wanted to clarify something for you guys. A lot of people commented or sent me messages telling me that on Purple there are weekly points so I don't need to worry. And as much as I appreciate you guys pointing that out to me, I know that. Um, we are doing this challenge. So the rules of the challenge, if you want to join in, um, today will be the third day. So the rules of the challenge are that you can't go more than two points over your allotted points or 10 points under. The reason that I'm doing that, and I'm only doing it for seven days, I do eat my weeklies most of the time, not all of them, but most of the time I will kind of go into my weeklies. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I'm trying so hard to course correct. And for me to form a new habit, I can't allow myself a lot of um, kind of looseness, you know? So if I say, okay, I wanna be at my 16 purple points, but I'm gonna go into my weeklies, it isn't gonna do what I want it to do. I want to form a new habit of not eating so much for the next seven days and then hopefully I'll be back on track. And I hope the same thing for you guys as well, whether you're on blue, green or purple or whatever diet program. Does that make sense? So I appreciate you guys telling me that I can eat my weeklies. I really do. But in this seven day process, I'm trying to kind of do a, a hard course correct because I have a tendency, my problem is twofold. It's sugar and it's overeating. I don't know that I would say binging, but maybe I would. I mean, I can eat a whole cake. I don't, but I could. And I would if I allowed myself to. Anyway, that said, let's talk about this morning. I've had my coffee and I'm going to have, remember last, I don't remember the date. It was about three days ago. I made these deviled eggs. So I have some of them left. So because I'm on my way to Bath and Body Works, I'm going to exchange out a couple candles because I've decided that I love this one. Anyway, I am heading there right now. I already ate those deviled eggs that I just showed you guys. So that will hold me over until I get back home, which will probably be around two o'clock. And then I need to figure out what I'm gonna have because you, you know where I went wrong yesterday? Not wrong, but to me, I could have made better choices. So my breakfast was fine, but it was a little bit point heavy a little bit not terrible but a little bit when you only have 16 purple points then I had two high point snacks that is where the problem came in the built bar not high point they were high point together the built bar and the nuts came out to seven smart points so had I eaten something off the zero point list I would have been fine but I didn't do that you know, and that's kind of why I so much like, I track in our app, but I also track on paper. I, and I always link that little um, meal planning pad. And also I like to use the meal planning pad and the meal planner together. The pad, because it's very inexpensive and I use the stickers on it. I write, when I track something, I go write it and then it just helps me as a constant visual in front of me that's on the counter when I'm eating to go, hold on a minute, look at what you've eaten, look at the carbs, because you can kind of, you know if you've had a lot of carbs, and look at the pointed foods and make a better choice. Okay, wish me luck, you guys. I'm down here in the shopping area, and I was able to exchange my um, candles. I don't want people looking think I'm crazy talking to my phone, but you know what? That's okay. We'll deal with that. So right now I am at 
Michael's. I'm getting ready to go in Michael's and the Dollar Tree is right next door to it. So I'm going to get chocolate and chocolate molds so that I can make candy for Christmas. So wish me luck. I've got my Bilt Bars just came in today. So I'm in really good shape. I'm going to cut up a Bilt Bar, my peanut butter one. My plan is I'm going to cut one up and while I'm making the chocolate molds, I'm going to eat that peanut butter built bar because then that way I feel like I won't get my hands in the chocolate and that should work out good. So, you know, the things we have to do for little workarounds for ourselves so that we don't make bad decisions, but we get to participate in traditions, right? So anyway, I'm going in Michael's now and I'm going to get the chocolate and the molds and then I'm going next door to the Dollar Tree and I'm going to get these cute little tins they have with ribbons around them so I can give some of the candy as gifts. I'm back from my shopping and I'm going to start putting everything away after I have this little sort of lunch. Sometimes at lunchtime I break it up into like two snacks. Sometimes that doesn't work out too good for me. So this is two smart points. The cucumbers are zero, the cheese is one, and the dressing is one as well. That would be on all plans by the way. So this is two points in for today. I have foil packed chicken in the oven. It's got about 20 minutes to go, but here's what else I'm going to have. We have family coming over. I always tell you guys, I live very close to family, so I have a lot of pop-ins. So thankfully, I'm usually stocked up. So I've got little round potatoes that I boiled, and what I'm going to do with those is just add some spray butter, salt and pepper, maybe a little garlic powder, and they'll be delicious. That's going to be my first kind of potato since I've been on purple. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of this jasmine brown rice. Some of you guys on my Facebook group said that I needed to try this kind, so I scanned it at zero. So I'm going to try that. Now, I'm not going to eat this, but this looks pretty good. This is for the kids and my daughter and her husband. And then look what we're going to do tonight. This is going to be so fun. We're going to make candy. And I got these molds. So that should be super fun with the little ones. And I've got my build bar. I have plenty of points for that. So that... Lane, say hi. Hi. The chicken is done. I have this cut up in strips with Cajun seasoning on it. Actually, not Cajun. It's called New Orleans seasoning. I'll show you guys. It smells really good. Here it is. New Orleans Cajun seasoning. A lot of times you guys will ask me if it's spicy. Not really. Maybe a tiny bit, but I don't like things that are real spicy, so not bad at all, but a lot of flavor. And then here's my potatoes.